Hi everybody, my name is Chris from Reading Town and thank you for joining us today for Kids Times. Now I want to ask you how many of you have traveled or gone by plane or by boat to a different country like to maybe China or even further away like America or South America. Well today's topic we're gonna talk about South America and South America is a very big continent and in South America we have a very large and very important land that is a rainforest so today our topic is Brazil's Amazon rainforest the rainforest we can say it's like a jungle it has lots of trees lots of animals and lots of plants it's very hot it's very wet so can you imagine or think about a forest more than 55 times larger than South Korea so this number here 55 times that means we have to do a little math right so we're not doing plus we're doing times so it will be South Korea times 55 times and that will be the size of this rainforest um, if the rainforest was a country or the Amazon the Amazon's not a country right it's just uh, a land but if it was a country it would be the ninth largest or biggest country on earth so the first it would be Russia and then China and if you go all the way down to number nine the Amazon would be the biggest so we're trying to say it's very very big right more than half of it is in Brazilian land so you know not 50 percent but more than half so half would be 50 percent right pandan like this but it's more than half so we'll say 60 percent or maybe 70 percent of it is in brazil the precious or very important forest is responsible for 20 percent of the world's oxygen so it's responsible for 20 percent means it's controlling the world's oxygen right so if we have all of the world's oxygen the 20 percent is controlled or is is responsible by you know this jungle this rainforest which all living things need to breathe right we all need oxygen when we breathe we are breathing oxygen right and 20 percent comes from this rainforest uh, while everyone is watching the olympics right now in rio the amazon next door is home to many birds monkeys plants insects bugs and even some people all right we have three review questions here a the amazon rainforest or the amazon jungle is blank than south korea right so if we have one south korea then if we double it, it we have two right if we times by three then we have one two three but it's much larger than that it's not times three or times ten it is actually times 55 so we need 55 South Korea's land to make one rainforest right not even a country it's a rainforest B blank of the Amazon rainforest is in Brazil so not all of the not all or 100 percent is in Brazil it's not more than half right half means 50 percent that is half right so if we have more than half more than 50 percent then we would say it is you know more than half so half would be 50 percent and more would be a, you know 51 percent or 55 percent right c the amazon rainforest is blank for 20 percent of the world's oxygen so the rainforest it's controlling or it's taking care of 20% of the world's oxygen it's making it right that's the job so when we say it's somebody's job to do something we say they are responsible for you so it's your mother's job to give you food your mother is responsible for giving you food it's your job to do your homework so you are responsible for doing homework it's your job okay we have three grammar questions here a if right 
uh, the Amazon is not a country, but if maybe if it was the country was a country, it would blank the ninth largest nation on the earth. So we have a hint here. This sort of helping verb would would is talking about the future or later, right? Not yesterday, not right now, but later. So tomorrow I would eat, right? We don't say I would eating or I would ate, right? We want to use the regular verb after b would. So the regular be verb is not is, it's not are, it's not was, it's not will, it is be. So again, we don't change the verb after, right? Is is when we change it from be, and when we change be to future, we get will, right? Be is the original, so we say would be. So for example, if I was a superhero, I would fly, just regular fly, right? I don't say I would flying, I would flew, right? Uh, I would eat. It's not I would eating or I would ate. B, all living things blank oxygen to breathe. You need oxygen, right? We have to breathe oxygen. I have to breathe oxygen. So we have a hint here. The subject is all living things. We are talking about this. This is the main character, right? They are the ones that need it. So we have this plural, things. We're not talking about one. We're talking about many, many, many things, right? So when we have many, many, many things, we don't, we never put the S like this, right? So this is out, right? For needing, we have to put a B verb before that. So we have to say are needing, will be needing, right? But there's no B verb here we have to choose this need. So again, because this is many, right, things, it's not one thing, it's many things, so we don't put the S. So for example, cats, right, many cats sleep, right, no S. Cats play, right, no S, it's just play, sleep. C, the Amazon rainforest is home to blank, animals and plants so this we're talking about you know is it many or is it one or are there several right we want to know how many there are with these words well we are counting right animals and plants you know one two three four, four how many plants and how many animals so we can count it right we have one cat uh, two dogs right we can see it we can count it so we have to use the word many because this word we use it for words that we cannot count like water we cannot count how many water is there so we have to say much water right lots of water right these are for things that we cannot count like food we, we cannot count food we can count oranges Right, so we say many oranges, we can count oranges, but for food, but for water, for money, we, we have to use this. We have to say much money, much water, many animals, right? many apples. All right? So I know that everyone is excited to watch the Olympics in Rio, but there is so much more that's interesting in Brazil. You know, other than sports, there's a lot of culture, there's a lot of animals. Most of the world's animals live in this Amazon rainforest, right? So hopefully, just like how I want to, I hope that you get a chance to visit this wonderful place. All right, thank you for joining us today for Kids Times. My name's Chris from Reading Town. I'll see you next time.